Let's design some 3D buildings. For that, we are going to go to our browser and search on our searcher for SketchUp. Remember, we are going to search for SketchUp online in order to use the software online and don't use our computer's resources. When we open the SketchUp web page, we are going to start modeling and we are going to create a new one. We have to select meters because it's the measure we use in Colombia. Here you have a series of tools you can use in order to make your building. Remember, here you have three lines for you to identify the 3D sections. You can turn around and compare the measure with the girl who is over there. For this example, I am going to start building a house. So the first part is going to take the measure on the floor and I am going to make it around 10 meters square. Down on the bottom, you can notice what is the measure. I am going to use a flexometer to have the same dip on each wall. In my case, I am going to take only 20 centimeters. When I identify them, as in the real life, I just draw the different lines, take the distance in other corners, the same 20 centimeters, and I complete the square, having a big square and a small square. And the difference between these two, the 20 centimeters, is the thick of our wall. Then I am going to measure the door. The door is going to be on the middle of the front door. That's why I am going to use the meter to measure what would be the middle, taking in account that I am going to leave a door of around 130 or 2 meters wide. Now that I have all the measures that I need, I am going to start deleting the lines I don't need. Especially in this corner, I am going to delete the space on the door and, of course, all the center. Why? Because what I was drawing was just the wall of my building. When I finish with the eraser, erasing every line that I don't need it. I am going to verify each corner and I am going to use a lot of time zoom in and zoom out. Now that I have everything I verify again. I have no more lines. I only have all the border draw and I am going to change the perspective. Select this tool that is pull up and I am going to pull up the wall and I am going to leave this wall around the real one, three meters. And that's it. Now I have my walls. A part of the scroll here on this corner, I have this tool which let me turn around all the space I have to design my drawings to have a better view. And in this way, I verify that, of course, I have the walls in the way that I want. And now I am going to make a couple of windows on the wall of this structure. For that reason, I am going to make it easy. I am just going to make a cross on the wall to identify what is the center. And now that I have this, I am going to use the square tool. Of course, I am going to move it in front now. The square is going to tell me what is the correct edge. When I have the edge, I delete the lines and I push using this tool to have the hole on the wall. Now, on the second wall, I am going to do exactly the same. And remember, the tool that I can use to pull or push help me to have a easy window. Now, I am going to complete the roof. And as you know, in the real life, normally the roof is a little thick, around 20 centimeters. So I am going to organize in this way. Of course, this is for the door. And now I am going to pull up 
the roof with the same tool. This tool is really useful because you just draw something, then you can pull or push to have windows, roof, walls, or any structure you want on your design. After you finish your design, you need to give a texture. Here we have real textures, like in this one, I am going to use just bricks to give the color around, and in this way you are going to notice that my walls are made out of brick. Of course, I need to turn around to give the same texture to all parts of my building. And for the roof, I am going to use just cement. I verify all the corners, that is okay. I don't need to have this space. So I am going to organize a little better, remember, using the pull push tool. And as soon as I verify, I check around and I notice that my building has the same size of a real building. Okay, now I finish the roof and here you notice that a person around 170 next to my building looks like in the real life. Now it's time for you to use this awesome tool. Thanks to SketchUp.